watch till the end of the video because i'm going to give you a sample diet chart there is one magic trick you're not able to lose your tummy fat that could be because you might have a condition to lose weight just spending 7 to 10 minutes a day wow hello everyone welcome back to your channel mom goody days and today's topic is the most searched topic of mine when i was in the phase of losing weight oh i lost 12 kgs of weight in five months let's get started I gained around like 22 kgs of weight during my pregnancy but I always thought I would lose it like this. I'm a sports person so I never had this problem with uh, metabolism or weight so I thought like this would be very easy for me. I got my c-section done and I came home. I checked I had already lost around like 6 kgs so I thought like maybe in another 2 months I'll be losing all my pregnancy weight. Ow. <laughs> that didn't happen after two months I checked my weight no change 10 months there was no change in my weight I did not even lose a kg nor even an inch and that's when I started to take seriously and I really worked on it I jotted down all those things which worked for me so grab a pen and a paper immediately and you start writing all those things which I tell you guys and you can put up all these things in a sticky note stick it somewhere near your mirror or near your work desk so that you see it every day make sure you check it whenever you do that okay firstly keeping your metabolism rate high how are we going to do that? Start your day with a proper morning drink. It could be a cinnamon water, ginger water, lemon and honey, or it could be jira water. Take a glass of water and put a cinnamon stick and an inch of uh, ginger into it so that it boils down to one glass and then let it cool down and you can drink it. This gives a kickstart to your morning and so that you remain energetic throughout the day. Second one is that as everywhere in the world says drink lots and lots of water but you might be doing wrong when you're drinking water doing wrong drinking water yes you heard me right I'm going to tell you what to drink when to drink and how to drink what to drink have lukewarm water or hot water and do not drink water right after your meal and that's going to lead to bloating drink water a half an hour before the meal and 40 to 50 minutes after the meal and in between meals you can have detox water to search you get lots of varieties of detox water take water add slices of cucumber lemon ginger cinnamon mint let it set for some two hours and after that you can filter it and drink these detox water are great for metabolism they help to cleanse your body helps the digestive system and livers to actually detox also start getting a super duper glow on your skin because you're taking off all the toxins from your body and in the evening you eat teas which are rich in antioxidants which is much needed how to drink to sit down sip your water that's how you're going to hydrate your body and how much water to drink see there is an hydration calculator like based on your height and the weight how much water you need to drink you can go search it in the google that gives you the right amount of water you have to intake and coming to the most important part that's the meal part see i don't ask you to actually drop in carbs which i've never done i have not dropped carbs i eat i take in carbs but make sure you do a mindful eating that check your portion whenever you have your meal say you are having your lunch make sure you have salads first some vegetables and then whatever the greens that is prepared you have that first and your stomach will be almost half full and thereby you're treating your body and the stomach that you only have to eat a little I mean make your tummy full and that actually helped me because I am a foodie I eat a lot so that way I actually restricted my calorie intake there is one magic trick which worked the best that is nothing but intermittent fasting Intermittent fasting is nothing but you're going to decrease your food window and increase your fasting window. That is, for example, you get up in the morning, say around like uh, 6 o'clock and you have your breakfast between 7.30 to 8 o'clock. 
make sure you finish off your last meal before it is 6.30 or 7 o'clock. Thereby, your body gets a larger fasting window. That is the, from say like 7.30 to next day morning, you are starving, that is you are on fasting. So that way the body's fat cells mobilizes. So this way you will lose weight. This is definitely gonna work give it a try it might be a little tough in the initial days to actually incorporate this intermittent fasting what you can do you can do it very gradually it's also a very healthy way of losing weight and there is one snack time where we can't stop our craving we go have some sweet or some fried item and thereby mm, all the efforts go waste I did was my doctor suggested me protein biscuits so in between the meals when I felt hungry rather than has munching on any unhealthy snack I used to munch on this uh, yeah, trapped in uh, protein biscuits you want to have you can also take an advice from your doctor and then have also mainly avoid sugar and maida which is the enemy for weight loss the important part is you have to increase your fiber intake like make sure you have one fruit a day or a vegetable a day like for example if you're having a fruit one day then you can have vegetable another day so alternatively you can plan things having good sleep is very very important uh, we will try everything I'm sure one missing factor would be that you're not having a proper good sleep Poor sleep can cause weight gains, it can increase craving, calorie intake. So, good sleep is equally important. And the worst part, I know we really don't want to do that that's the workout when i plan to lose weight and i started to go to gym so i used to do an intense one hour of workout i know i did lose it very gradually but that was my starting point when i started walking i started working out and that's when i started to see difference so working out is definitely important of course 80 percent is diet and 20 percent is workout but that 20 percent is really needed to keep to keep yourself active and energetic because so i used to do cardios on the machines but i used to avoid a lot of machine workouts rather i used to do a one hour of complete floor workout and i did not even gain back after i left the gym make sure you at least walk for 30 minutes and i know that you might not be able to hit gym those people i've got you two fabulous youtube videos which will help you lose weight just spending seven to ten minutes a day wow isn't that good <laughs> okay there are two videos the one is lucy windham and the other one is from chloe ting i'm going to link that video for you guys in the description section these two are in incredible instructors talk about Lucy Windham so she says it's a seven days challenge where you have to do seven minutes of exercise for seven days doing these exercises can give you amazing results you know the mom's main target area is the abdomen region it's got two beautiful exercises one is for fat burning and the other one is a flat tummy I do is I club these two like seven minutes for fat burner in the morning and seven minutes flat belly exercises in the evening and that way you can definitely expect some insane results and other one is from the Chloe thing you can also see there are lots of results that are put on the YouTube in her name and minutes of exercise it's a pure core exercise you can definitely feel that burn in the pain the moment you do that exercise it might be a little tough initially as time progresses you will definitely adjust to it because she doesn't give a break she just gives a break of like 10 seconds in between two or three exercises another beautiful thing which helped me was Zumba because I am crazy easy about dancing Zumba is something I always love to do so help me lose weight so it's not like you have to do everything suggest us walking is definitely compulsory that's your cardio is definitely compulsory and club it with a workout or club it with a Zumba good you're there one beautiful trick I'm going to tell you guys I'm sure you will be doing some core exercises but it might not be working for you guys it's because you're not tucking your tummy in practice you have to tuck your tummy in and you have to breathe in breathe out it's the same workouts which you are doing with tummy tucking you're going to see some good results mark my words but I also have planned to do a video for you guys with my Zumba instructor but you know because of this lockdown 
we are not able to make it that doing it and i'll be posting it for you guys on the uh, in my channel so stay tuned another very important thing for the mothers like you do everything you're not able to lose your tummy fat that could be because you might have a condition called diastasis recti diastasis recti is a condition wherein during delivery your uterus has expanded and thereby the abdominal and the connective tissues have expanded they have created the gap in between link it up for you guys in the description section as to how to check whether you have diastasis recti if yes then what workouts needs to be done inculcate these habits into your lifestyle and that becomes your lifestyle and no looking back from that i'm sure this is going to definitely help you guys if if it does more than happy do each and everything that i have told you and be consistent take it up as a challenge you're surely going to lose weight and when you try and when you see results do let me know in the comment section so that i'll be more than happy to know the results you guys in the next video until then take care see ya stay at home and cherish every moment of your motherhood see ya